Just putting it out there. Disclaimer. Disclaimer. Hey YouTube, it's your girl Special Nicole and I am back with another micro lock video. If you're new to my channel, welcome. If you are a returning If you are a returning subscriber, thanks for coming back. Share with your friends, your cousins, your mama, maybe your daddy, anybody. Tell them to come on over to Special Nicole's world. Ignore ignore the fur furry people in this video. They want to be heard. So yeah, just ignore them. Right, so today is April 15th and that means it is my nine month lock anniversary. Can y'all believe it's been nine months? Like time has been flying. My locks are old enough to like have had a baby now. Yep, like I've been in this thing nine months. So we are almost to one year. And you can see, I just did a retie. I finished it a couple days ago. I have some, oh, it stuck to my necklace. I have some length, a little bit. Um, so yes, I'm loving the fullness of my hair. I'll let y'all get in close real quick so you can see how it looking. I still have a twist pattern, um, still but i'm feeling it i am loving it i am also loving that my employer is now allowing locks don't ask no questions just know that they're allowing locks that's the best thing in the world i am loving the anti-hair discrimination policies that are raising or coming up in these new years so cheers to them and to me um, which I was gonna have them anyway, but like I said, don't ask no questions. Um, so yes, this is nine months. Any changes? I've noticed, haven't really noticed many changes. Um, I've just been kind of just enjoying the fullness. Um, just letting my hair do, do what it wants to do. I'm enjoying the length that we're getting, reaching new heights here. Like, look, I mean, it's still little, but look at my ponytail. You can't tell me nothing. So yes, that's pretty much all I got to say about nine month lock. Aversary updates. Um, that's really not why we're here though. We here because I want to share some tea on these lock tools. I've mentioned them a couple of videos now. I'm finally about to show y'all how I kind of use them to fix the unraveling that I still experience with my nine month old micro locks. So if you're interested in seeing more about that, keep watching. All right, so the tools that I want to talk to you about, I got off Amazon. I will link them down below. I think last time when I mentioned them, this actual link or the actual tools that I bought were sold out, but I found like a dupe or some, some similar to this that I linked. So whatever I find, I'll link it down below. So the tools that I'm going to be talking about are... These, I believe they're called instant locking tools. They're also referred to as like crochet um, needles. Let me get it to focus. But mainly used for instant locking. So if you don't know instant locking, that is just taking the faux locks. Um, I mean, it's out of human hair, but creating instant locks with it so you can use uh from what i've seen on videos i am no expert i do not have all the answers i am just here to show you the reckless things that i do with my micro locks so if you want to be reckless and try these things you can try them as well or you can just look at my videos to know what not to do so far i haven't had any bad results but i'm just saying you know hey just putting it out there disclaimer disclaimer as as my subscribers about me we do reckless things over here i'm always trying something that i shouldn't but hey, whatever anyway um you use it to basically crochet the hair into itself to create a lock so what i have been doing or experimenting with i have experimented with it to fix holes i won't be showing y'all that today because like i said i'm still experimenting and 
yeah there's other youtubers that have videos out about how to correctly fix holes so don't do what i do but what i want to show you is what i've been doing for bunching on my end so i do have some areas that were bunching i noticed this time around when i went to do my retie and bunching for me i don't really know the true de definition but i'll say that i have had seriously thick ends and i noticed that when it was time for me to put my the interlocking tool on that the end of my lock wouldn't fit through the hole like some of the other locks would so i knew that it was swelling and getting like extra bunchy and like when you stretch it an example would be this guy here and some may not say it's bunching but like you can see how i'm stretching it you can tell it's supposed to be like not to say stretched all the way but it shouldn't be this bunched up together so that's like bunching um it looked better before i did a little braid out so that's kind of added some stretch to my hair so it's not as bunched at the ends as it was but i tried to save it so i can show you how I go about fixing that issue so let's get into it all right so I'm going to demonstrate on this lock yeah so here's a better example you can see that it's just all bunched together instead of like your normal swelling like I said before it was worse but after doing that little braid out kind of put some stretch into my hair where it stretched out the bunching but you can see that there's some something going on that shouldn't be going on there. So I'm gonna start off with this one. And what I do, I use this, the single one. They come in different millimeters. So this is 0 0.75. I also have a 0 0.5 and then you have the two prong ones, a 0 0.75, and you have a three prong 0 0.75. Like I said, I mostly use the single 0 0.75. So what I do, which will be hard to show you, because I have to tilt my head, but in the area that I'm interested in, which is this end here, I take the tool and I stick it, insert it through the lock. While I'm doing that, I do that with my right hand because I'm right-handed. With my left hand here, I hold the that area and I twirl it. And with my right hand, I take the tool inside and out. So that is creating the instant lock effect and crocheting the hair into itself. And I do that working my way down as you can see, I'm trying to now we're just gonna work my way all the way down. And you can see how it's getting tighter than what it was. So you can see I have finished this lock and so, yep. And I'll show you comparison between this one and the other one that I wanted to show y'all. So you see how this looks and then you see the difference between the two. So let's do the second one. So I'm gonna do the same thing, starting where it is what I consider bunching or what I would like to correct. I'm to figure out how to hold it for y'all. And that one is now finished. So let's see if we get close enough. 
so again i just wanted to uh demonstrate how i fix bunching like i said it is not something that i'm an expert on or that i have all the facts the knowledge or any of that it's just something that i tried that works for me um and these tools are made to instant lock your hair so why not use it to fix an issue um again i will link those tools down below let me know if you've ever tried using any instant lock tools for your hair your micro locks let me know if you have instant locks um yeah also let me know if you have any questions down in the comments and that's all i have for y'all today just a quick little tutorial on uh what, how i use instant lock tools to fix bunching in my micro locks so again let me know how much y'all thought if you liked it if you didn't like it if you agree if you disagree all that down in the comments below make sure you like comment and subscribe follow your girl on instagram at special nicole for daily content and i'll see y'all on the next one bye